Well, hey folks, how y'all doing? And ribs, ribs, ribs. That's right, three ribs there. Uh, I actually prepped these last night, had them covered in the fridge. As you can see, I like using this brown sugar bourbon. If you can find this, folks, from Grillmates on, uh, on ribs, it is awesome. Now, I did step it up a little bit uh, for the last hour. I put uh, some brown sugar on here, and you can see it's all melting in. Be a nice little glaze. We're going to do this on the, uh, on the Rectech. Uh, low and slow, then turn them up and... Uh, We'll see you out the grill. Well, there's our setup at the grill here. I've got the Rectech just fired it up, set at 180 for now. We're gonna do a little bit of smoke on there. Um, did spray a little apple juice on there, like my buddy over at Heavy Metal Barbecue on YouTube. Check him out. He does some really cool things. Always says smoke sticks to wet meat. So uh, I sprayed them before I put them in. Let's take a quick look at what we got going on here on the Rectech Mini, modified Mini. And you can see I got my second rack in. And oh man, look at them ribs. Ribs, ribs, ribs. So uh, we're going to let this go low and slow. To, just to give you an idea, a timeline idea, it's uh, 10 o'clock in the morning. So a little jewelry out here today. Got some rain. was a little snow beforehand. It's middle of November here in Wisconsin. It's pretty typical. Um, so we'll uh, get this fired up and give you a look-see as we proceed. Keep on watching. All right, folks, there we are, two hours. And uh, we're going to bump things up. Let's give you a quick look here, if I can do this with one hand. Got the glove on the wrong hand, as always. But you can see our ribs there. Pull one out, give you a look, and you can see, yeah, I get some nice color into there. So we are going to bump this up to 250, and uh, like I said, we've been on for a little over two hours. Bump it up to 250 and let her go, and then uh, in about three hours, see how she's looking, and if I need to bump it up a little from there, I'll bump it up. Keep on watching. All right, folks, we're approaching the four hour mark. Let's take a quick look. And um, you can see the bones are pulling out. It's starting to look pretty nice. Let's take a look at the one on the top. Do a little bit of a toothpick test here yet. And uh, ain't too bad, ain't too bad at all. And the ones on the bottom. Not too bad. So we're going to let this go for a little bit while yet. I might flop them around. The ones on the bottom have a tendency to cook faster than the ones on the top. So I think I'll flip this one and put a replace of that one. And then I'll let them go for another half an hour or so and we'll start saucing them up. Keep on I thought I'd give you a look-see before I sauce them. A nice color in there. You can see a nice pull back on the bones. And for sauce, sweet baby rays. Don't get it better than that. All right, folks, there it is, uh, about a half an hour, 40 minutes with the sauce on. Don't really want to go further than that. And uh, we're just going to lightly cover these with uh, some tin foil, and we'll let them rest for about a half an hour, and we'll give you a look-see after that. Well, folks, take a look. There they are. Oh, man. Take a little taste of them already, and you can really taste that brown sugar, that brown sugar bourbon um, <clears throat> um, uh, spice we put on there, the seasoning, and the sweet baby rays. Got a little bit of smoke ring on there. I'll tell you what. Turned out really well. Uh, folks, uh, this is easy enough to do if I can do it. Obviously, you can do it. I'd like to say thanks for everybody for watching these videos. This video right here is the 400th video that I've put on YouTube. Amazing. Um, and I couldn't do it without you. Your encouragement, your thumbs up, even the thumbs down. And uh, always encourages me to be better. And uh, the comments, the uh, comments, and, uh, you know, I appreciate it all. So, folks... Uh, for the 400th time, thanks for watching. I really do appreciate it.